Okay, were you aware that Sack sent your daughter some rather provocative pictures? So as we all know, YNW Melly is currently fighting for his freedom. The trial doesn't start until June, but I noticed today that the deposition of Melly's girlfriend's mother was public for people to see. And in this deposition are some crazy new details that I didn't know about at least. Allegedly, YNW Sack Chaser sent nudes to Melly's girlfriend. Yeah, you heard me correctly. That sounds like a motive to me. Here we go. We're gonna read this deposition right now. Melly's girlfriend's mom, and she got arrested actually like six months ago because she was avoiding her deposition. That's a whole other situation. Um, When she finally got deposed, basically what they're trying to say is that Melly never called his mom after the murder like everyone else reported. I think I even reported that like a year ago. Holmes' deposition testimony regarding the time of her call to Melly's mom and where Melly's mother was geographically located at the time of the call directly refutes the conjecture which the court possessed cited and claimed demons failed to refute. Why do these lawyers use all these big words, bro? Basically what they're trying to say, Melly never called his mom. That's what the defense is saying here and that they shouldn't get a warrant on his T-Mobile phone because that was all bullshit and she never said that to the detective. Okay, this might explain it more here. The team member warrant was saw and issued on October 29th, 2018. The most relevant and material allegation made to establish probable cause for issuing the warrant, his phone number, Jamel Demons placed a call to his mother just after the shooting request and she come and pick him up. The warrant is false as it would be inexplicable for such relevant information to have been excluded from the reports associated with the case. The second most material allegation in the affidavit is an allegation for which there was no support. So they're trying to deny that that's his phone number in general. The defense is trying to deny that this number is his phone at all. This sounds a lot like Michael Boatwright from the X case, dude. When uh, Michael Boatwright, the guy that shot and killed X, when they knew his phone was like the big deal breaker here, they tried to deny that being his phone. So now they're trying to say that that's not his phone. Wherefore, Demons respectfully moves to suppress all evidence obtained in relation to cellular phone 772 as a result of the issuance of team of a warrant request and evidentiary hearing in the motion. He took notes on his notepad and authored the team able search warrant affidavit two or three days after the shooting. He did not preserve the notes, so he threw the notes away. And, you know, the fucking the defense is going to have a field day with him throwing away the notes. What that means is basically he did an entire team able search warrant based off something that he only has in his brain. You know what I mean? Like there was no physical. After the T-Mobile search warrant was issued, the detective obtained records that corroborated Melly's mom's statement that there was a phone call between her and Melly after the shooting. So they're capping, bro. They're trying to say it's not his phone, bro. I'm pretty sure that's your phone, Melly. <laughs> Who else would they be calling? All right, now we got Melly's girlfriend's mom, her deposition, all transcripted right here. So I'm gonna try to read some of it and see what was said. This could get interesting, boys. I don't think anyone's ever seen this, so. So this is right after she was arrested in the Virgin Islands for avoiding her deposition. Wow, here we go. You knew him since when? She answers 2018. I met him through my daughter. I was told that she had a new boyfriend. I knew he was in the music industry. Did you ever see Melly argue with anyone? Not anyone outside of my daughter. They would argue, but she would curse him out and he would curse her out. Typical boyfriend girlfriend situation. Yeah, that's why I talked to him a lot because he would always call me because she would try to destroy his property or things like that. All right toxic behavior right there boys no he didn't do anything to her he would try to calm her down yes because she took a bat and kind of went through his house and bashed his tvs and stuff all right melly had to be cheating boys 100 he had to be cheating right because she caught him with some girls in the house what did i say i swear i did not know that they called it the YNW house. Zach was living there. Juvie was living there. August and September of 2018. So like a month or two before they uh, died. Uh, Bortland was living there too. Drew, the film guy. Drew filmed it was living there. Okay. I did not know that. Are you aware that there was a shooting? Yes, sir. When did you become aware of the shooting? I think it was the morning after the shooting. Do you recall the date? No, I don't recall the date. How did you become aware of it? My daughter, we were in bed. She was like laying next to me and she woke up screaming that there had been a shooting. I asked him if he was okay. Melly was on the other line. You recognize the voice? Yes. Yeah, so Melly called his girlfriend that morning. Did you know what phone? I can't remember exactly what phone it was. I'm led to believe that a lot of guys used each other's phones over a period of time. Is that correct? Yes, they did. So this sounds a lot like the X case where they tried to say they were using each other's phones. I find that unrealistic. I don't know about you, but I don't use my friend's phones at all. Like that's just not a thing. That's just me though. But said that I'm not sure exact words, but something the effect of Sack and Juvie had been in a drive-by shooting. Okay. Did he say he was present? They asked. Oh shit. Here we go. He didn't say he was present. No. Did he say anything else about it? He said that, you know, he was scared. He wanted for me to come pick him up. When you called the night of the shooting, Melly was telling you he told Bortland was around. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything about Bortland. No, sir. Did you talk to Bortland about the shooting? No, I haven't talked to Bortland at all. Me and him got into Instagram kind of argument, but I haven't spoken to him. What did you get into an argument over? Why was she arguing with Bortland? Because he's basically kind of picking with Mariah about Melly's new girlfriend. Why was Melly's girlfriend's mom arguing with his friend? 
what is going on here? So, so far, she's not snitching on anyone, to be honest. It's actually Avian Juvie. I didn't know that they were, I didn't even know they were deceased at the time. She didn't know that they were dead. Melly didn't tell them. Melly didn't tell them on the phone that they died. That's confusing. Did you have any other conversations with Melly as you were driving down? No. See any photographs or pictures? No. When you first saw Melly, do you recall what he was wearing? I think he had a basketball shorts t-shirt on. Did you see any blood or anything on him? No, I didn't. Why the fuck would he have blood on him 12 hours later? Come on now. Anyone with a brain would clean that shit off. Did you ever ask your daughter if she knew anything about the shooting? Yes, I did. And when was that? Initially, people were saying a little stuff to me and it was, it had me thinking that something fishy was going on. Uh-oh. So I asked her like, what's going on? And at the time she said she was scared. She was kind of getting threats and stuff from different people. Threats from Melly? No. Not the time, no. I guess from the victim's families and friends. I didn't know that the victim's families and friends were already accusing Melly of something. Damn. They were thinking that she was hiding something or knew something. Did you know which victim's family? I think it was Juvie's family. They were threatening Melly's girlfriend. Yeah. Well, they were telling her to be careful and watch her back, saying stuff like that to her. Did she ever tell you that Melly told her anything about the shooting? No. She never. I asked her over and over again. She never said anything like that to me. When the police detective Moretti spoke to you, did you say anything about a FaceTime message or anything? Yes. And did you see anything? I saw him. I saw him standing. I can't even remember if it was like an apartment. I don't know if it was like a wooded area, a bushy area. What? Bro was running through the woods. I did see him briefly. It was dark. I can't remember exactly the alley of the background. Could you tell if it was near the hospital where the two individuals were? No, I couldn't. Did Moretti tell you that there was no FaceTime found on her phone? Yeah, he did tell me that. Wait, what? There was no FaceTime found on her phone. There's no record of this FaceTime? He told me he had a Snapchat message of my daughter and that my daughter could possibly be charged with accessory after the fact. Everything kind of made me flip out a little bit. Did any of the detectives telling you that the phone records indicate Melly never called her? He told her that there was no FaceTime message and asked me how, basically kind of asked me how the FaceTime message went, but he said there wasn't one. I think he asked if Melly had another phone or something like that. Do you recall the detective telling you that there's nothing on Twitter or direct messaging on your daughter's phone? No, I don't remember saying that. Okay, were you aware that Sack sent your daughter some rather provocative pictures? What? What am I reading right now? Were you aware that Sack sent your daughter some rather provocative pictures? Yes, I am. You saw those pictures. I didn't see them, but she called me and they came over. She was in Tallahassee during the time and she told me about them. There were pictures of his penis. Did you ask her why in the hell he would? I didn't have to ask her why. We kind of already knew that he was kind of weird like that. What do you say weird? What do you mean? Perverted. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This detective is saying that YNW Sack Chaser allegedly sent nudes to YNW Melly's girlfriend. Now that sounds like it could be a motive for Melly to be very upset at him. What is going on here, boys? So at one point, the detective said they were going to charge Melly's girlfriend because of a Snapchat message right here, accessory after the fact. I, I would imagine they're just trying to scare them into talking. Did you receive any text messages from anybody concerning this case? Uh, she basically says that Melly's mom and her have talked a little bit. Nothing to the effect of don't go to court or don't testify, anything of that nature. Basically, you know, I cursed her out a few times. I'm not going to lie because I could be a little, you know, my mouth could be a little firecracker and I felt like my life wouldn't be, I wouldn't be going through this if it wasn't for her and her son, you know, so I've been cursing her out and stuff like that. So Melly's mom and his girlfriend's mom were arguing because obviously she's blaming Melly for the whole situation. But as we sit here today, you don't know who did it. I don't know who did it. You don't know who was present. Who was present or who wasn't present? So she doesn't know anything. At least you know that Melly and his family have not applied any pressure on you. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, now the state of Florida talks to her. Here we go. Do you know if the FaceTime call, Apple Apple, if it was like an Instagram video chat? I just, I didn't really look at it. I just saw his face. Then I bring up Bortland and Melly's girlfriend's mom talking. I was kind of antagonizing him because he was kind of threatening, picking with my daughter. What message are we talking about? My daughter didn't tell Melly or he would never get out. He hypothetically told her. He didn't tell them people what he told her or there would never be any getting out for him. What? Let your boy know everything he told her at Freda's house, I know. And I'm gonna make her tell. She hasn't been subpoenaed yet, but after they hear this story, she will be. Melly slow. She had his back. She told what they already knew. Melly wanna play dirty. Well, tell the lawyer we know shit they don't even know. And we have decided to cooperate. He dogged my child when she kept his secret. So Miss Holmes, and there it sounds like Mariah did tell you something about what happened. It did sound like that, she says. And then she goes, because Bortland called, the detective called me and said, Bortland said that I threatened, that I was threatening his life or whatever. So that's why she screenshotted that and sent it over to the detective, okay? Dude, this is getting real confusing with Melly's girlfriend's mom is hinting her daughter was told something hum dude this ain't looking good for Mally boys have you reviewed the discovery to see the confessions that mr demons have given 
No. So you haven't read any of the message? No. Were you receiving money from Mr. Demons to support yourself? No. So now they're trying to find out if they're being paid to be quiet by Melly's team, but she's denying that pretty much. That's pretty much it for the deposition of Melly's girlfriend's mom, Felicia. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. We just got information that YNW Sack Chaser allegedly sent nudes to Melly's girlfriend. And I'm not putting things out there, but I'm just saying a lot of dudes would lose their shit if something like that happened with their best friend. They try to fight them or they try to do something so this could be a big motive i didn't even know this was a thing i don't think i've ever seen this this is like news to me and it's probably news to a lot of you guys and then also there's just more incriminating snapchat messages apparently that we're going to see in trials so this is going to get real interesting and dick pics boys dick pics are being sent and he could have got killed over it dude he could have got killed over a dick pic i'm not even trolling if you're my channel subscribe on my twitter and instagram peace out boys.